In this video, we're going to create an email account for our domain name. In the mail panel here, you just click on the email accounts, this guy right here, and then you enter the name for your email address right here. And if you've got several domain names assigned to this particular cPanel account, you'll have a drop down box here, at which point you simply select the domain name that you want to create this email address for. Now, myself, I always create at least three email accounts for every one of my domain names. And this is just for me, but with a lot of different web hosting accounts, you can have an unlimited number of emails. Let's back up here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Over here on the left panel, under email accounts, you'll see here where I've got an unlimited number available. And currently, I've got only three of those unlimited created. So we come on back here into email accounts. The ones that I create for every one of my domain names is name, that would be my name, at, then the domain name. Another one is sales, at, then the domain name. And the third one is support, at, then the domain name. Now, like with this particular web hosting account, I can have as many different email accounts as I want. So, for example, if I were to hire some outsourcing work, I can assign an email account for that particular person or persons. And once they've completed their task, then I can just come in and delete that particular email account. So in this case, let's go ahead and add Joe at this domain name. Give it a password. And I'm going to use the password generator because that's usually pretty solid. Just copy this. And you can always hit this generate password to change this. And you want to tick that box there. And you've got some advanced options here, but that's a little beyond the scope of this video. Go ahead and click on use password. And be sure and paste that or save that password somewhere because that's going to come in pretty handy later on. Now here under the mailbox quota, you can either go with the default amount or you can choose unlimited or you can adjust this. Now you can always come back later on and adjust this if you find that you're using close to or getting ready to exceed the mailbox quota space that you've allotted yourself here. So really that's why I always go with unlimited, but that's just me. Then just click on create account. Now you see I've already got an error here because that one already exists. Duh. Anyway, that's how you go about creating it. And you know now what will happen if you try to create two email accounts with the same name. That said, you can always come in here and change the password. You can change the quota right here. That's what I was talking about here. And you can always just delete it here. Let's go and see what's under the more options. Oh yeah, you can access the webmail account and you can configure an email client. This email client they're referring to here is kind of like your Outlook Express or I think that might even be gone now. Windows Live Mail or like in my case, I use Thunderbird, which is made by the folks that create Firefox. So we take a look at the access webmail. Tell you what, let's come on back here for a second. That would be this right here. Now I don't use these myself because like I said, I use Firefox, but anytime that you create an email account, they're automatically viewable here in any one of these because they all show the same thing. They just show them in different ways. For example, under Hoard, this was probably the, the more powerful of the three. Click on login. I say powerful because it also allows you to create filters, which is a little beyond the scope of this video, but you can create filters. You can do all kinds of stuff here. But here's where you can look at the inbox, the messages that have come in here. And these are the same things that would show up in my Firefox or my Outlook Express or my Outlook or Windows Live Mail or whatever third party email client you might use. So we come on back here. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here altogether. If we were to take a look at the email account and then come on down here to configure email client in the event you were going to use this with like Windows Live Mail or Outlook 2000 or Outlook Express, then you've got the ability to do so right here. They can walk you through the entire setup process and you've got all the details over here that you're going to need to be able to effectively activate that third party email client. And there's a lot of other things you can do by creating additional email addresses. For example, you might be able to set up autoresponders or mailing lists set upon a particular email address you create here. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on creating an email account. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.